let's begin. You get this probability density function. I think you're pretty happy with that idea that um, you've got some function in here uh, in a particular domain. Mm -hmm. um, we need to restrict the domain, otherwise, when you you know expand the domain, maybe it goes negative. Maybe you, it's if you were to one. integrate, it would be more than one or less than one or whatever. So we've got this uh, restriction, and then everywhere else, it's zero. Don't worry about it, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to use all of that together and combine that with like. A probability of some kind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I think it would actually be helpful, and I'm sorry I'm going I'm to cheat slightly, but you can. I will let you benefit from my cheating. Um, we're going to get a picture of this very roughly, okay? Because I think it will help to understand what's happening. Okay. Um, now, before I start to put this into to Desmos to see what it looks like, um, what can you tell me about this function? What do you think it would look like? What kind of function is uh, it? It's a problem. It's a parabola, yeah, perfect. So it's, it's, you got that x squared there, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, uh, then there's all this other stuff, like it's a parabola. Um, I think you can probably tell me, is it, is it facing downwards or is it facing upwards? Uh, upwards. It is facing upwards because you're like, oh, there's no negatives there. The gradient is 3 over um, 50. No. Well, okay, so, so then it starts to get a bit blurry, right? Because you're like, oh, um, with a straight line, if, white, Why if I, I had gradient, what was it? Well, no, no, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a bad place for your brain to go. <laughs> I meant, I meant um... like steepness and that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. you call it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so with straight lines, right? <laughs> we have this, um, we have this standard format, right? Um, mm -hmm. And we can say, oh, as soon as you look at this thing, that tells you the gradient, and a straight line always has the same gradient. Mm -hmm. Unlike a parabola, which is kind of like sometimes it's down, sometimes it's up, all that. Yeah. Um, and then you're like, oh, this is the intercept. So you can read those things off very easily. Yeah, it's 12 over yeah this, this is, yeah, if you wanted to find that intercept, you'd be like, oh, it's, it's 4 times 3 over 13. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you're getting the idea, but I, I actually want to look at what this is like. And once we've got a shape for this, um, you're welcome to just do a rough sketch for yourself so that you, you have that to refer to. Okay? Um, 3 over 13. And then what have we got in there? x squared plus 4, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here is our um, parabola. And uh, importantly, just like in the original question, um, we're not interested in the entire parabola. We're interested only in a particular domain. Mm -hmm. So um, I look over there at the domain restriction. Um, and I don't know if um, you've seen me do this enough on Desmos. Um, when you're filming with Desmos, if you go to this other keyboard here, um, this is the alphabet keyboard, um, there is right down the bottom, there are these curly braces, which you can see on the top oh, left yeah. now, and they allow you to specify the domain. So oh, I want, okay. it's very handy, 0 is less than x, <coughs> which is less than 1. So you can't so, write that in a normal bracket? Um, correct. I mean, I think that's just the what Desmos is interpreting as um, oh. domain. Anyway, you're like, oh, is that it, right? Um, in fact, even though it's a parabola, it's such a small part of a parabola, it almost looks like a straight line, but mm -hmm. you, you can see the curve there, yeah, okay? Yeah. All right, so that's good. Um, and not that we necessarily need it, but we can just prove to ourselves that this is a probability density function. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew you could do this too, but um, Desmos will integrate if you like. Um, yeah, so I what I'm gonna do that. is, yeah, good. So let's just um, show you how I like that it. works. Oh, good, it's very, it's very handy. So I'm gonna call this f of x because the question does f of x equals that, and um, I'm going to integrate now. Now, what are my boundaries again? It's uh, mm, zero, and one. 0 and 1, so I'm going to go from 0 to 1. And because I'm lazy, I'm not going to write that whole function again. I'm just going to call it f of x. Mm -hmm. And then, I, of course, I have to say, am I integrating with respect to like what letter? There's only x's here, so I'll say dx. And lo and behold, it's 1, which, which it had better be, right? Okay, so now we're then asked... What's the proof? Uh, yeah, if we were asked to prove that this was a probability de density function, we'd need to show number one that it's always above zero, right. and number two that it integrates to one. So can't you just logically deduce that if you just um, if you see that x squared plus any constant really, mm -hmm. uh, you can tell that if there's a zero there, it's going to zero out. Mm -hmm. The only thing you do really have to find is the one. Correct. That's right. So Which um, is a constant anyway. Uh, so. Yeah. So you'd have to substitute one in. To this, mm -hmm. um, like even though you yeah. can, um, it, it's sure. I mean, if you're asked to prove something, such as prove that this is a probability density function. Oh, in a test. Um, yeah. In a test, you'd, yeah. You and but I mean, even even so, like mathematically, you'd say to be rigorous, it's like I can't just say, oh, it looks like it'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> though it's kind of funny, um, you know. As you can imagine, you know, these days we uh, wouldn't labor the point over, like for example, if you had a probability, right, and if it was a discrete probability situation, so it's like I'm counting things up. Mm. So if I had an answer like, oh, I don't know, it was 4 over 12, 
right? We would not bat an eyelid and say, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. You don't need to simplify that to any easier fraction. You don't have to write that that's one over three, that's fine. Um, and so the further you go into maths, um, the more that you treat all the previous stuff as like, yeah, 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 that's fine. We get it, don't worry about it. Um, and so at a certain point, um, like sometimes you'll, in, in mathematical papers, uh, phrases appear like, by inspection, which is basically by saying, I looked at it, and so I'm pretty sure it's fine. Said, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of hand waving, you know, because it's sufficiently simple, we're not worried about it. By deduction. Though. Yeah, 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 okay. So anyway, um, that was all on the side. We're now trying to think about um, how do I use this probability density function to work out this probability, okay? Mm. Now, um, I, I can see that that is x is less than 0 0.75. Mm -hmm. So if I were to put this back onto here. You just the domain in your yeah, so I've got x equals 0 0.75, which is unsurprisingly, it's there at 3 quarters, mm -hmm. right? So because I want less than or equal to that, I want everything over to the left. Yeah. yeah? Zero Correct. So what I really want, it's going to look like this. Uh, where's my f of x? Wait a second, wait a second. Sorry, yep. sorry. I just realized we yeah, skipped yeah. over the part where I, I couldn't do it. Which part? I haven't done anything, like any interaction. I I'm just trying to integrate it. Uh, okay, we will integrate in a second. Okay, okay. We will integrate. I just wanted to make sure we know what we're calculating. Yeah. yeah? Um, so I want this, that's the area under the curve. We know that's the total thing, which is one. But I actually only want it for this um, specific domain for x is less than 0 0.75. Okay? Now you can see here, right, because the function itself mm -hmm. stops at zero, that's my left boundary, this purple area now, right, it's like, oh, start at zero, go all the way up to some, uh, 0 0.75. Is that okay? So now we've got a picture for this. Let's put this away. Actually, maybe I'll just leave the picture here on the side because um, I can. That'll do. Um, all right, so this probability here, mm -hmm. x is less than 0, 0.5. Now, this part's fine. And I think you were even able to form the integral properly as well, right? It's from naught. Check that your working's okay there. There's the there's a naught yeah, there, 0 yep, 0 0.75 up the top, and then here comes the function, so 3 on 13 x squared plus 4 mm -hmm. with respect to x. So far, so good, mm -hmm. yeah? Now, at this point, I think, did you already start to integrate from this point, or did you do some factorizing and all that? What did you do next from this line? I took out the 3 over 13. Hmm. I think that's a good move, because really it's just kind of in the way, can you guess so to do that? <laughs> um, I can I have a couple of guesses as who might have given a suggestion like that. Um, it's easier to work with in this way. I can just focus on the terms that really matter. Um, that 3 and 13 is not going to go anywhere. So at this point, again, you're fine because you got to x cubed on 3, but I think your brain was like, oh, cool, I've got this cancelling that can happen. So you started to do this next bit at the same time. Do you remember this? I can see yeah, some that's like scratched that. out in here, right? Yeah, so let's let's not um, get carried away to that step yet because I haven't even finished integrating at this point, right? It's because I didn't even I didn't even write the over three part. Yeah, so that part, yeah, it just kind of I think you're like I'm going to multiply by three anyway, so I'll just get rid of this over three; it'll cancel, right? Um, Oops. It's fine. I mean, it's a very easy mistake to make. Now I hope you can see we've integrated at this point. So the x squared turned into x cubed on three. The four turned into four x. But there's the, the big brackets around it. 3 over 13 applies to everything on the inside, right? So that's why I'm not, you know, jumping in and, and doing any oh, cancelling. Yeah, 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 does, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, so far, so good. So that 3 over 13, I'm still going to leave it out the front. Still? Yeah, still, because um, I don't really gain all that much by multiplying the 3 in because, um, you know, I if you really want, I could, but I don't think it's going to make things instrumentally better. So for example, if I multiply that by three, this also gets multiplied by three, like so. I mean, I guess we have gotten rid of... Um, Why can't you just multiply the whole fraction? Um, so if I multiply the whole fraction, this is going to be divided by 13, and this is going to be divided by 13. Now I'm dividing by 13 twice rather than once. You can do it. Well, that's what I did. Um, um, and I yeah. still got the wrong answer. Okay, well, let's, let's see what happens next, okay. right? So. Um, I've got my 1 over 13 out the front. Let's see if we... Eh, interesting, okay, let's, let's see what we go to from here. So I've got to evaluate my top boundary and then subtract from my lower boundary. But as you've already pointed out, when your lower boundary is 0 you really and you've got these x terms in here, you know that's going to cancel out, it's going to mm -hmm. come out in the wash. So I'm going to get 0 0.75 cubed 
12 lots of 0 0.75, and that's the upper boundary. Mm. Then I subtract the lower boundary, which we already established was 0. So you didn't, you didn't even have to bring in the... What should we calculate for Does that make sense? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, at this point, yeah. I'm going to... Do you have your calculator on you? I've got one over here. Yeah, right. oh. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Let's see if we um, match up. I tried to go to my history because I did this. Yeah, you have the, the calculation already, yeah. but it's probably wiped off, yeah? Yep. It's already disappeared. So, um, I mean, that's, yeah, what do we got here? Um, I can already tell, I mean, that's three, so what's that? Uh, 27, mm -hmm. 64 plus. I'm just doing this to see if I can beat you to here. Um, 12 times three quarters. Oh, three quarters, that's, that's a nine. Okay. Yeah, right. Come on, come on, you can, you can give this a go. Oh, uh, it's going to be gross. I mean, look at those. No, it's fine. That's okay. I am definitely... Oh, yeah, actually, I've got a calculator here. I don't know why I got a, that calculator out. No, no, uh, use that. That's 1 over 13. For and then I've got 27 on 64 plus 9. Yeah. How do we go? I'm getting this answer. 7, 2, 4, 7, 5, 9, 6, dot, dot, dot. Uh, you... 